What's going on everybody? Today I'm going to try to replace the combustion blower on a Harman pellet stove. This particular one on my pellet stove is about 10 years old and you can hear the bearings are starting to go bad. So it's time to replace it. Okay, the only tools you're going to need for the job is 11 32nd inch socket and ratchet, a 1 8 inch allen key, and also the replacement motor itself. And I'll leave a link for all these in the description below. First, make sure the stove is unplugged. Next, open up your ash bin door and remove it, which I've already done. Then behind it, you'll see the combustion fan. We need to remove this first. So first, you need to lift up on this lever here. Then you can open up this plate, remove that. Loosen the set screw by using the Allen wrench, and then take off the fan and inspect it. Now is also a good time to give the fan a good cleaning. Now on the right side of the stove, around the back, just above the exhaust pipe, you have to start removing the wiring that's connected to the motor itself. First the ground, then above you'll see the rest of the wires. There's a white and a black. Disconnect both the white and the black as well. Then removing your remaining zip ties holding the wire on. Here's a quick look at the replacement motor. I'll leave a link for this one in the description below. Next you want to remove the motor. So you're going to take your ratchet and socket and extension and loosen the three nuts that hold on the motor. Then totally remove them. Next, slowly remove the motor and try not to knock the mounting studs back into the stove. Before installing your new motor, just make sure you have the correct part number and make sure it's spinning freely. Next, slide the motor back onto the three studs. And sometimes it's helpful if you have someone else pushing in on the studs from the other side. Next, install the three nuts and hand tighten them on. Then tighten them down firmly with your ratchet and socket. Next grab the wiring and run it up across the heat shield on top of the exhaust. Now back on the right hand side of the machine, you're going to reinstall the wiring. Put your ground in first. Next the black wire connects to the red and the white wire connects to the white. Then after double checking that the motor spins freely, you're going to reinstall the fan. You want to make sure you have the set screw lined up with the flat spot on the spindle. And then tighten down the set screw with your allen key. Once you have that on there snug, you're going to reinstall the plate and lower the lever. 
Then finish off the installation by installing new zip ties and also putting your covers back on. And then you're all set to fire it up. And once you fire it up, you can hear how much quieter the new motor is. And that's it. Alright guys, thank you so much for watching. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up. And also check out all my other maintenance videos. And we'll see you in the next one.